Hi, my name is Song Min Hong. Welcome to the Computational Microelectronics course EC7114. We have three lecture hours per week on Monday and Wednesday. Modern transistors have really complicated structures. For example, here we can see the three-dimensional half structure of a thin fat. Numbers are written in the nanometer scale. The narrow silicon area, drawn in yellow and green, is called a fin. The fin is typically about 20 nanometer thick in this technology. Moreover, the silicon area covered by the hafnium oxide, drawn in blue, defines the channel. It is also about 20 nanometer long in this technology. Shortly speaking, modern transistors are extremely scaled. Therefore, the fabrication process is quite expensive and time consuming. We wanted to avoid the tedious trial and error during the technology development as much as possible. For that purpose, software programs to predict the transistor performance have been developed. Those programs are called the semiconductor device simulators. Some of them are commercially available. In this course, we will study the underlying principles of the semiconductor device simulator. Moreover, its numerical implementation will be exercised. Throughout this course, you will get the hands-on experience on the semiconductor device simulation. For example, by using the code shown here, we can calculate the potential profile inside the device. List of keywords include Schrodinger equation, nonlinear Poisson equation, subband calculation, mobility calculation, Boltzmann solver, drift diffusion solver, and quantum transport. These topics will be covered in a self-contained manner. Lecture materials written by myself will be provided. This course has been developed mainly for the graduate students. However, even the undergraduate students who understand the general physics, electrostatics, and microelectronics can take this course without difficulties. You may find many resources from my YouTube channel, GitHub repository, and homepage. Especially, the YouTube channel contains several lecture videos. If you are interested, please try some. If you have any further question on this course, please directly send me an email. Thank you.